In the world of anime, one anime series stands head and shoulders above the rest in really long fight scenes, endless episodes, and zillions of characters that end up pointless because the protagonist always beats the main bad guys on his own with no plan of attack because he's dumb as fuck. One Piece. Then there's Bleach, the one about death god samurais, and Naruto, who claims to be about ninjas, masters of stealth, who wear bright orange jumpsuits with spiky blonde hair to avoid attention. That's right, masters of stealth. Not overpowered mages that destroy mountains by giving them the finger. Masters of Stealth. The story follows Naruto, the attention whore. Hey! Look at me! I'm a bugger! Who failed the getting exam three years in a row, yet somehow never met the ninjas one grade higher than him and is the same age as this year's class. Poor Naruto had an incredibly memorable backstory. Probably so memorable because we're shown the same tragic flashbacks every second episode of how everyone in his village despised him because inside his infant body was sealed the nine-tailed fox spirit by his caring father who totally could have saved either his mom or beaten it like uh, the first Okage did when he fought the fox and Madara simultaneously. Anyway, in return for the fourth Okage's noble sacrifice, saving the village, his son was alienated instead of pampered like a different Hokage descent. Friendship is born as teams of threes are assembled haphazardly, putting the most incompatible rookies together. Naruto's team is comprised of Sasuke, an emo, Sakura, the most straight-up useless character in the series, and Naruto, with the original dream of becoming the greatest Hokage. Believe it! The Hokage is the village leader and a legendary warrior in might and his examples to his subjects. The first Hokage allowed his sworn enemy into the nation. The second caused him to rebel. The third was a stalker, a smoker, and trained the most evil dude ever, the most perverted dude ever. I am not a little pervert! <laughs> I'm a big one. And the fifth Okage, who's a drunk and a gambler. And the fourth Okage, who left the village defenseless to selfishly save his son. Naruto was gonna be in good company. Team 7 had great chemistry as he loved her, she loved him, and he loved him. But he hated him, who hated her, who hated him. <laughs> Oh, and there was their sensei. I'm David Bowie. I can do anything. I love you, David Bowie, Sama Sensei, Senpai Sansama! After many incredible battles, all won by Kakashi, important lessons were learned about the Naruto world. One, Shuriken and Kunai never work regardless of their size and shape, no matter how cool their names are. Demon Wind Shuriken, Windmill of Shadows! He dodged it! PS is never used again. 2. The more hand signs that are put in a jutsu, the more useless it becomes, as proven later in Shippuden, where the idea of hand signs is forgotten by everyone. However, they all still use f***ing shuriken. Number 2.5, Sakura didn't do shit even though they made her look useful. And 3, hard work means absolutely nothing. All that matters is a magic eyeball, hereditary ice techniques, or a nine-tailed ball of plot armor. By episode 20, wet your pants with excitement as the tuning exams begin. The high point of the Naruto franchise, where parents around the world donate their children to die. Which is logical, because there are seemingly no normal parents in this world. During the exams, all our important lessons are retaught with vigor. Like more useless shuriken. More more overpowered hand signless jutsus. More Sakura not accomplishing shit, though they made her look useful. More flashbacks making us all fall in love with Lee and his arduous training attempting to make something of himself and eventually loses to raw talent and at Juni preliminaries. The exam introduces Orochimaru halfway through its over a year runtime, an extremely important and powerful main villain who seeks immortality. His powers comprise of stretching and summoning snakes. The poor guy's probably jealous of his ex-comrades, being that half of them are immortal, and the other half are far stronger than he is. Having mercy on poor Orochimaru, who gets beaten by his own plan, Orochimaru manages to survive without reason, and uh, they never sort of dealt with him at the end of the series. 
Now that's a main bad guy. Experience fear as Sasuke joins the dark side of the force, which is then forgotten about for 85 painful filler episodes featuring the cast of the Minions. Watching Naruto is the thrill of a lifetime, being that it takes about a lifetime to even introduce the main bad guy. Spoilers, Black Zetsu. Starring Draco Malfoy, Hermione Granger, Lord Voldemort, Severus Snape, Dudley Dursley, Vernon Dursley, James and Lily Potter, The Death Eaters, The Weasleys, Fang, Nagini, Professor Lockhart, Luna Lovegood, Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore, Fred and George, Dobby the House Elf, and Neville Longbottom. Oh, and Harry Potter. The Search for Sasuke.